Nahira! Hey, Nahira! When did it first start? Oh, right. It started from the moment I was born. I want to become a worthy Archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Looking for a way to save Vermin Soul. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukutavata. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Surastana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Nahida! Nahida! Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? Have I been doing the right thing? Am I really not needed? How do I really feel about all of this? It's so quiet here. Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning. Who are you? You're right, though. I won't... Nahira! Nahida? Did you... wake me up? <sighs> Thank you. Why are you here? We're here to rescue you. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just... When I think of everything that's happened to me... I... <laughs> <laughs> you should have been angry ages ago. for any sounds outside. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. You think everyone's done with their Nya Garbaha date? Yep, so that means our next act is... Nilu. Are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance, and this one is especially important. <sighs> All right. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more on the subject. But if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. Don't worry. They've been through worse. Everything's going to be fine. 
All right. You know, if you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. Be careful, even if it's only for our sakes. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. the way to the academia. Better stick to the plan. Nilu, how's it going? Nervous? Definitely more than usual. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Well, thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a... Ooh, that sounds great! <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the Academia. I was planning on telling them something like, The Academia's been conducting a weird experiment, and some of their test subjects escaped. It's really dangerous there. Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh, oh well, I guess it does sound like... <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, it'll be a piece of cake. Hey, Nilu! Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalda candy. Do you want some candy? We have more than we can give out. Vihar, thank you so much for doing all of this. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to a performance, and I'm about to start one. <laughs> you have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so... Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. All right, time to hit the stage. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but I heard that public performances like these have been banned I can't believe she's doing this here Grand Sage there's some commotion outside huh how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the Akasha to the guards they'll know what to do Do you think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer.
Did you hear that? It sounds like a lot of guards just ran by. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to come to think of it. When did all Haytham replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? Oh, so that's when he did it! Paimon was too nervous to notice. Speaking of, didn't all Haytham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos? Oh, it's a time-tested trick of his! <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Paimon remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia, with the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Nyagarbaha day. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? That's horrible! I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Nyagarbaha Day, the Sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so... Sure sounds complicated. But it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the Academia without any effort. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can... People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases... The Akasha will turn humans into machines. Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? Do you have someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. I'm kinda hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this. Alright. After the guards in the Academia are gone, then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the academia in droves. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop, but outside the academia, this is our hunting ground. For a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. <laughs> we still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Yeah, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the Six Sages belong to the Corps of Thirty. But they have a c following those blasted sages every whim, throwing away all the prints. Indeed, the trap has been set. All we need to- Alright, let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to- You gave such an important task to that child. Will he be okay? It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's put our faith in him. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. You've got a point. Good luck. Mm. <laughs> this outfit. Hey, do you remember what you need to do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be lesser lord. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. 
Even if that happens, you only need to think about getting the guard's attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. Hey, they're here. I can see the Academia Guard. All right, it's time, Isak. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Mm, this is different from our plan, but there's no time. I... Huh? Did I just see? I'd better go have a look. Were my eyes playing tricks on me? I should go check to see if someone's hiding over there. Seems to be nothing here. Uh, just to be safe. Oh, good thing they didn't find me. I was close. I'd better hurry and keep going. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? How did I not see anything just now? Oh, no, they found me. Where should I go? The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar! Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her! Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry, hurry! Huh? This place is... Why are you all here? Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. What on earth is go- I suppose that's all of you? Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the- Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or a person. After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! You've spent all your time hiding away in the Academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Hmm, this is odd. The Academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neogarbaha Day ceremonies, but it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Guards? Guards! <laughs> Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you knew. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. Uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that... that Lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped? Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? That's impossible. 
The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Disappear? Wait. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Let me check. Ah, ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee immediately. The Akasha indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Was it the report about the Traveler that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Well, even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? Confirm? N no I, I haven't. It may be a bit offensive to say this, but, Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose- In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord- N no Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute- <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I yes Grand Sage. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go to the city and arrest the escapee. <sighs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. It must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. Ah! Impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Oh. <sighs> What a comical sight is are. <gasps> Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. And precisely because of this, you disregarded lest she has been a wise and worthy Archon. Sino. Have you been waiting for a chance like this? The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me. But I didn't expect it to turn out like this. No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. You're I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all hate. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha... <laughs> then tell me. What have you found during your investig- You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Surasthana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff- As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgents- So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamatra? No. I want you to plead guilty. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? Mm, how long do we have to wait? Oh, Paimon hasn't 
haven't heard any sounds outside for a while. Oh, yeah, but aren't you scared that we might be locked up in here for the rest of... <sighs> Thinking about it, at least Paimon has you. When Paimon thinks of Nahida being imprisoned alone... Here comes your savior. You two really owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. It felt- Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Uh, n no, n no, that's, uh, I'll pass. What are you afraid of? Ugh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the Academia are all- The Corps of Thirty is in charge of the city's defenses, but we already talked to Asvand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. As long as it doesn't break their employment contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. That's probably because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. So, how's Sino doing? The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, so he probably does too. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. So, hurry to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Assuming nothing weird happened, we should have already rescued our Archon. Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. We just... Alright, you two better go. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. See you around. It's nice to meet you. This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams, consciousness, or when I was in someone else's body. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me, but I also need to apologize. During this time, I did some self-reflection. Exactly! We're here because you're a good Archon and one of our friends! <laughs> Thanks, you two. <sighs> Amazing! So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. I can't even tell if I just woke up or was only now born into this world. My concept of self has become so clear. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Um... This is really embarrassing. You all just rescued an Archon, and now she needs her help to save her country, and even the entire world. It's okay. With you here, Paimon's sure that everything will work out. There's one more thing. What is it? For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom. As their Archon, I will make them pay. Ah, wow! That's the spirit! You're finally standing up for yourself and not letting people walk- <laughs> I understand now. To be a better Archon, I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yes, true. Hmm. That reminds me. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of the- I need to make some preparations. 
Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Ak First things first. I need to remove the restrictions that the doctor put on me in the Akash. After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permissions. The Akasha will then be like how, after all, the Academia betrayed Greater Lord Rukadavata's trust. This might take some time. In the meantime, you should- If we don't stop the God Creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. You might as well prepare for a fight! When we're done, we can take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. Nahida? I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Greater Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant. Oh, also, this is for you. Huh? What's this little floaty thingy? It's a small device I put together just now. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha Terminal. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! We're both small things that float! Aww. All the things that make Paimon special got copied! When Paimon appears with the Traveler from now on, people won't remember Paimon because she isn't unique anymore! <laughs> it's alright, Paimon. It can't replace you. It's only a flying device, but you're the Traveler's irreplaceable friend. <sighs> you're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the Traveler was as smart as you. Hmm? I was simply telling you what I feel to be the truth. I wasn't trying to comfort you. Nahida, you're a natural at this. What you did- By the way... There's something I need to confess. Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, I'm not very good at fighting. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. However, if we get into a situation where combat is our only option, I'll have to count on you and I'll do my best to prepare. I'm glad I can- Hmm, so the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? That actually sounds about right. I've located where the false god is. Time is of the essence, so let's skip to it. What is this place? Wow. There'd be a place like this hidden right slap bang in the middle of the city! The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. The safest and most convenient way would be to b- Hmm, that's true. They were already- Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The safe of this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the Academia. The Fatui under the doctor sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Yeah! Or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it, though? I've always felt that this doctor, instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental- Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He had one is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. The other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain- Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. 
That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. Now with that temper and ego of his... It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. I see. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any... Ah, I see. How fascinating. Alright, time to go. Let's get through here and meet him in person. Time to work! Let's begin our work time! One with nature! Bust it! Yes, this is it. It looks like we can climb up these pipes.
quietly now. Into the wind. Detoxify heat. Gotcha. Fry. One with nature. This was well done. <sighs> quietly now. Roasted fry. An unfortunate fault. Operational status, we must prepare for the worst. The god they wanted to create is likely close to completion or already completed. Oh no, what should we do? Paimon can't imagine how hard it would be to fight against the Fatui Harbinger with a. Are you. If you really want to know, of course. 
course Paimon's nervous. Aren't you too, Nahida? Yes, I am. This is probably the first time I faced with a calamity of this degree since my birth. I feel not just nervous, but cur curious. Curious about our fate. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything, and if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur, so it has always drawn my curiosity. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? Ah, so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. <laughs>